Hey YouTube, Chance Paladin here, and Dead State Update 3 just came out, and so we are going to do our due diligence and do another run through. This is going to be the last update. Uh, until beta comes out. So, last run, we did it in uh, 12 videos before the game crashed, which is usually when we end. So we'll see how many we can do this one in. There's been tons of updates. I mean, the change list is huge. I thought, should I go over it? No. Just go. A lot of it was defect fixes, but some of it was not. So we're gonna. Oh, whoops, that's a portrait. Where's name? Oh well. Choose his name at. Oh, there we go. All right. Um, I'm gonna tweak this a little bit. Um, hold on. You can put. Uh, these only cost a point until you get to the circles when they cost two points. Now, I understand the implications of that a little bit more now. Um, fast travel harvesting. Actively mechanical. Okay. As you can see... <laughs> You have to make some crazy choices all the way at the beginning. Uh, reach to an increased effectiveness of allies in combat negotiation. All the character convinces others to share their point of view dialogues over just my genetic thing. Just roll the kit. Leadership negotiation is super important. Although uh, a lot of people, I'm sure, will be able to avoid it and be just fine. Melee. You, you you get one no matter what. So I don't want people to misunderstand that. And you can get this the second one and the third one just fine. Or no rather, it takes one to buy into it, I apologize, blah blah blah. There but the reason why I said that is I didn't want people to think that it cost two to get that to say two. That means it's gonna say two to fill in that bubble. Unless you're going to be hardcore melee, unless you want to be hardcore melee or whatever, right up front, I don't suggest putting more than those two points. Um, I'm role playing my character for a very specific reason, though. So he gets that first bubble filled in. The um, it's a. It doesn't say what the stat leap is, or what the percentage leap is, but I can tell from in-game that it's it's a big, it's big. Do, do I wish I could put another point into melee? Absolutely, but would my character be really that good at melee? Not really. Sw swinging an axe directly at a head, or whatever, you you'd miss a lot of the zombies swaying around. I just... Would he get good at it eventually? Would I get good at it eventually? Sure, but not right away. Um, and then medical. What's survival again? Um, medical is super important. Um... 
you're going to go through so many med packs and they're trying to encourage more people to take the uh, the healer or, or somebody with uh, science with them um, I'm, I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about that um, it might you know it might be safer to leave them back so my character needs to be good at medical I'd be good at medical I, I try to role play this off myself um, and we've talked about this for months and months and months and months and months some people years on the forums and they'd be a lot more filled out than this but these are all the points you get for starting out so anyway um, a little strength not a lot Evasion, I really like evasion. Um, agility makes up for the lack of melee. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but... If you can dodge, you can stand to miss a little bit more. And it, it, and it doesn't say hit chance there, but I'm pretty sure that has to do with hit chance. Because you notice none of these actually say hit chance. Vigor is very important. Hit points are super important. I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, two crits in a row, even though they almost never happen, two crits in a row will end a, a 100 hit point character. Uh, that's just the way it is. You, you need to have that 100 hit points. Perception. I really like perception. If you're going to put points into range, you need to have your points in perception. But again, like I say, this doesn't say hit chance. I'm not sure if they're going to change that or not. But this and this, strength and melee, also dictate your hit chance. I don't know how. A lot of this math is still a mystery, which is not a necessarily a bad thing. It's just something to remember. My strength and my melee are low, so my hit chance is going to suck. But my range is going to be really good. That'll come into play a lot more later. My vigor, that gives me, I'm hoping that gives me 100 hit points. But I love to have super high perception. So, uh, I'm worried this is going to haunt me later, but this is pretty decent leadership and negotiation. Do you want this to be higher? Yes. Can you afford it to be higher? No. You've got to make major sacrifices to even start your character. 90 hit points, 9 AP. All right. I would love to go back and watch my last video and see how close this is to my last one. 90 hit points is really pushing it. I'm going to relatively skip through the dialogue. I assume most of you have seen this by now. See all of our best friends. assume you all already know this. Apologies, I'm not talking much. It takes a little concentration to make sure I go through all this without screwing anything up. I was trying to do this in Shadowrun one time and ended up choosing a decision that ended a whole entire quest tree on accident. So I'm trying to focus a little bit.
I don't think there's anything you can terribly screw up. Oh, I always bring a medic the first time. Uh, but I think I'm going to be okay without her. So I'm going to bring Anita this time. And the reason why that is, is that even though it's really nice to raid Renee's supplies, I think I can do that anyway without having to bring her. And Anita, you need her fighting skills if you make your character terrible at melee. Because Joel is terrible at melee, and I'm going to be terrible at melee, and Joel's terrible at shooting too. He's kind of just a... Joel's kind of a crappy character, honestly. But that there's a reason for all that. I'm not complaining. Not complaining. Nothing else in here. Alright, um... Start moving things over to our stash. Oh, oh, um, I'm going to try to say tidbits of stuff as we go. Um, I said this is the last update, beta's coming next. That's important because next patch, when beta hits, that means there's no more seven day limit. That means we are going to be hitting, and by we I mean me, and you guys watching at my side are going to be hitting this game pretty hard. Uh, how was I doing that before? I just need to think for a second. I'm wondering if they locked it out for the first day. I know they updated some of this. Huh. Shoot. How was I doing this before? I'm wondering if I can only after do it after uh, blah blah blah. Day one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Why didn't it let me do this? Oh, because I was hitting. Okay. There we go. I remember. Renee. Sorry, Renee. I hate to do this, but honestly, you're only coming out as an absolute last resort. Joel, you're not bringing that damn shotgun. You can bring your 38, and that's it. Just equip that. Baseball bat, just need a pipe wrench. Davis can't come out anyway. So. Okay, take that pack. And if Renee has to come out, I will. I'll, in fact, I'll give her that pack back. Bad, blah, blah, blah. I'll give her that back in a second. It's for when I get a shotgun. Actually, hold on a second. Called up my Joe Biden. I have names for everything. There we go. That's painkillers. That'll go in there later after I start having to heal people. And same thing with that. Renee, you can have your... 
healing pack back. Alright, let's go ahead and save this. Hold on. I don't think I don't think there's oh uh, they hid the little board because it was kind of confusing and counterintuitive for the first day. Um, ouch! Stop it, cat! Stop it! Uh, it's about time for some more Tylenol because my head is not doing good today, and I don't know why. Thought maybe everything was just too loud earlier, but it's still hurting. Sure. I'm going to talk to Elaine. Before I go. try to save Elaine and guy that's knocked out downstairs. Um, so far I've been able to successfully save both of them each time but there's no guarantees because I'm not sure what makes Elaine go suicidal and there's no guarantee that I'm going to be able to get enough antibiotics. So here it goes. Thus, the beginning of episode one, Lano Commercial. Lano. Lano Commercial. <laughs> Here we go. Time to rock and roll. I love this game so much. People keep talking crap about this game. Don't listen to anything they say. This game is awesome. This game is aw- oh. Ooh, man, I had my attack on my characters already for some weirdo reason. Anyway. Uh, remember, this is an alpha, this is update 3, early release, blah blah blah. Um... Don't want to forget. Uh, it's an amazing game, though. Don't listen to what anybody says. Um, also, for all of you out there that are going to tell me how to play, uh, I'm role playing. Don't effing tell me how to play. I'm going to ignore it, delete you, ban you, or something. So just. If you don't like how I play. Don't effing watch. I'm, I'm, just, I'm only going to say that once. That's it. Uh, there we go. Good job. 
I'm just throwing everything in any old inventory. Um, I don't care because as I showed everybody earlier, I'm pretty good at going through everybody's stuff. So, uh, not worried about it. I'm like very specific on how I like everything. Okay, this one's got the diamond back fan. I need to make sure I get in the diamond back fan. This area is always overrun. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Um, kind of, kind of play as I go, just to see how my characters are doing, see how they're holding up. Like, I forgot to look at chances. Hit chance? Okay, cool. Wow, that is a lot of boards. That's great. Oh, shoot. Uh, 80% chance? I wonder if they upgrade hit chance a little bit. He had a uh, poor chance. Just had terrible... Why did he just switch to his shotgun? That's weird. So freaking scary. Did my knife break? Chance's weapon is broken. Uh, I thought they said our weapons couldn't break. I've never had a weapon break before. I'm instantly regretting. Hopefully, somebody got a hammer. Damn, look how much damn. Oh, shit! Yeah, look how much damage Joel took. Part of it's because he's got no armor. Where was it? I missed how much it hit him. being very careful to not shoot my shotgun. Okay, I think that was the last one. Uh... Okay. Machete. Machete! What the? Where are these zombies coming from? How many more are there? Where are they coming from? Am I making that 
much noise. I'm so confused. Oh, sh no, Joel, you idiot. Okay, I forgot about that lag. Get off me. Where are all these zombies coming from? Oh, you don't you you wouldn't think that a game would give you Oh wow, I'm getting so many freaking boards. You would not think a game would game would give you like anxiety, man, like this because oh, it's like turn-based. No, f that. This game will give you anxiety. Um I there's at least two more zombies around here. Uh, that hammer is going to go to... There's an easier way to do this, but let me get out everybody in the open. Alright. There we go. Lantern. Cool. Damn, Anita took some hits too. Okay, so... Make sure you do not accidentally attack your allies. It is very easy to do. It's that knife icon. Not only is it easy to do out of combat, it is even easier to do in combat. Um, that's just kind of the way it goes. Uh, also, I forgot what the guys on the forum call it. Save whoring or something like that. Oh, shit! How many zombies are there? I never remember there being this many. Anyway, that's why you don't come alone. Um, oops. Shoot. I need to pay more attention. Um, I used to do all this by myself. Uh, I'm not doing anything by myself anymore. It's... St it's too hard. Nice, a toolbox. Perfect. Uh, this game used to be doable by yourself, but, uh, wow, even more boards. Uh, I would not say this game is doable by yourself. Oh, uh, to all the people who say, like, oh, save horror, this, that, the other thing. I forgot what they called it. I, you know what? I don't care. Cool, more boards. Um, I don't feel like I'm abusing the save system. Uh, the scheme is hard. And I'm not gonna act like... Oh good, my first combat knife. I'm not gonna act like I'm so good for this game, or so much better than this game, or I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say, that I'm just gonna play it all through, and if I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. Da, da, da. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I want to make the most entertaining video possible. I want to go through all the stuff, and I want to enjoy the game. So, okay. Did the, oh, wait, 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 wait. Gotta check these boxes. Sometimes that stuff's lootable. Okay. Uh, I want to play the best game possible for you guys. And I want to have the most fun possible. And this game is tough. So, I'm... Um, you're going to see me saving a lot. You might even see me resetting a lot, restarting a lot. But, it's all going up here because I'm playing... Okay, that's too many. Can I go in the back? Yes. 
Um, oh, I want to check the police car though. Damn it! Some. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, loot's randomized also, so I can find weird things like boards in the garbage. Not super weird, but you guys stay here. That's interesting. Looks like weight limits are in the game now. Interesting. I must have made noise. They have really tweaked the noise, and I don't mind that. Because something was wrong with the noise the last two builds. So I'm okay with that. It adds the edge that this game needs. Although I'm surprised they didn't come around. There might be something in here, there might not be anything. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Ah, that's gonna do the door blocked thing again. So I never had weight problems before. They must have. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. They must have uh, just implemented that, which is fine. I mean, honestly, it was kind of weird being able to carry hundreds and hundreds of pounds of stuff. I can't remember if there are looters in here or not. I don't think so. Shit. Yes. Oh, damn. She is not in position at all. You always want to let a couple seconds happen between everything so you don't accidentally click something that you shouldn't. Wow, okay. Uh, I made that mistake a ton last game, and I don't want to do that anymore. I have to drag it to. My characters were walloping each other. I was moving people when I didn't need to, like you just saw. All kinds of really d d dumb stuff. This is me not being patient. Now, is that fuel in the front really important? I don't think so. Um, next playthrough, it's going to be very important. I was more so looking in there to see if there was a shotgun. And there was not. 
uh, you know, in case the police cruiser had a police shotgun. Um, I'm gonna check my inventory really quick. Um, I'm probably going to try to go to one more area before I come back because. Interesting. Strength also has to do with how much you can carry. Um, she can carry quite a bit still. Uh, a lot, in fact. So, um, I can, I can go to one more area, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna heal everybody up, uh, but I'm not gonna do that this video. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time, which is one video per area. So, this is gonna wrap up Lano Commercial which is personally it's it's one of my favorites to do it's not my absolute favorite uh, my favorites gonna be coming up but uh, yeah so uh, thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later like subscribe tell your friends take care of yourselves and look forward to lots more dead state because I'm gonna be playing the heck out of this game love this game Talk to you guys later. Goodbye.